This is a super important topic for revision. Why? Because so many people miss it out and also because it comes up pretty much every year in exams. Let's have a look at question number 14 here. It says that cone A and cone B are mathematically similar. What does this mean? It means that they're the same shape, just different sizes. Next up, it says that the ratio of the volume of cone A to the volume of cone B is 27 to 8. We're then told that the surface area of cone A is 297, and we're asked to show that the surface area of cone B is 132. Guys, what are we going to do? Well, we've been given our ratio for the volumes. We're going to use our ratio in volumes, so the ratio in volumes, so the volume of A to the volume of B is going to be 27 to 8. Oh, two, not two to eight, 27 to eight. We're going to use this to find firstly the ratio in side lengths and then the ratio in areas. Then we can apply that. So I'm um, working out firstly the ratio in side lengths. What are we going to do? Well, to get from the ratio in lengths to the ratio in volumes, we have to cube our sizes. So in order to go from volumes to lengths, so the lengths of A to the lengths of B, we're going to cube root both of our numbers. So the cube root of 27 is going to be three. Cube root of two, of eight, sorry, is going to be two. Now that we've got our ratio in lengths, we can work out our ratio in areas, the area of A to the area of B. To get this, we're going to square our ratio in lengths. So we're going to have three squared to two squared, which is going to be nine to four. Next step, we're told that the surface area of cone A is 297. We need to show that the surface area of B is 132. Well, if nine parts of our ratio is 297, how can we work out four parts? We can start off by working out one part. So we're going to do our 297 divided by nine. Nines into two is zero, remainder two. Nines into 29 is three, remainder two. 9's into 27 is 3, so one part is equal to 33. Next, we can do 4 times by 33, which if we're correct, should be 132. 4 times by 30 is 120, 4 times by 3 is 12, 120 plus 12 is in fact 132, so we know that we must be right there. What did we do? We used our ratio in volumes to go to our ratio in lengths, and our ratio in lengths to go to our ratio in areas. Once we had that, we could use our ratio to find the surface area of cone B, and luckily it did turn out as 132, um, and then we can also write our units in there, centimeters squared.